Supposed Bible contradiction. Did Jesus rise after three days or on the third day? Several passages in the New Testament claim Jesus rose from the grave on the third day. So if Jesus died on Friday, as most scholars believe, rising on the third day would mean Jesus rose on Sunday. However, Matthew 12:40 says, For just as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So if Jesus died at the end of Friday, he would have to have been dead Friday night, all day Saturday, Saturday night, all day Sunday, Sunday night, and all day Monday, in order to be dead for exactly three days and three nights. So he could not have risen on the third day, but he would have to have risen after three 24-hour periods, as other verses imply. So did Jesus rise after a period of 72 hours, or on the third day within a period of 72 hours? Well, this can be addressed by looking at the cultural understanding of days in the biblical world. Despite how we in the modern world denote a difference between within three days and after a full three days, in the ancient biblical world, these actually meant the same thing. R.T. France says, the different phrasing of the three-day period compared with the third day of Matthew 16, 21, 17, 23, 20, 19, 27, 64, and the after three days of Matthew 27, 63 is due to the Septuagint wording. But in the Semitic inclusive time reckoning, these do not denote different periods as a pedantic Western reading would suggest. We see evidence of this in passages of scripture. Matthew 27 reads, Sir, we remember how that imposter said while he was still alive, after three days I will rise. Therefore, order the tomb to be made secure until the third day, lest his disciples go and steal him away and tell the people he has risen from the dead. Notice the tomb only needs to be secured until the third day arrives, not until a full three days has passed. The Old Testament also has places where after and on can mean the same time period. 1 Kings 20:29 20, says, And they encamped opposite one another seven days. Then on the seventh day, the battle was joined. Genesis 42:17 to 18 says, And he put them all together in custody for three days. On the third day, Joseph said to them, Do this and you will live, for I fear God. In the Septuagint version of 2 Chronicles 10:5, we read that Rehoboam said for the people to come to him after three days. But then in verse 12, we read they arrived on the third day. We see the same Greek phrasing in Josephus as well. In Antiquities, we read Amasa was commanded to come to him after three days. However, we read just after this, on the third day, the king said to Joab, it is not fit we should make any delay in this affair of Sheba. So they moved on the third day, not after three days. But that doesn't explain Matthew 12:40 which says Jesus will be dead a total length of three days and three nights. Matthew 12, 40 doesn't say after three days. It specifically says Jesus has to be dead three days and three nights. So it can't be equated to rising on the third day in the way the phrase after three days can be. However, the cultural context can easily explain this as well. Saying three days and three nights is seen as an idiomatic statement that can denote any time on the third day. Rabbi Eliezer ben Azara said, a day and a night are an ona, a portion of time, and the portion of an ona is as the whole of it. We see this in places like 1 Samuel 30, 12 to 13. He had not eaten bread or drunk water for three days and three nights. And David said to him, to whom do you belong and where are you from? He said, I am a young man of Egypt servant to an Amalekite, and my master left me behind because I fell sick three days ago. So was it three days or three days and three nights specifically? In Esther 4.16, she says she will not eat or drink for three days, night or day. However, in the next chapter, it says on the third day, Esther put on her royal robes and stood in the inner court of the king's palace. This is why Harold Honer says, the three days and three nights in Matthew 12:40 is an idiomatic expression of the same time period, the third day, mentioned in the above cited New Testament passages, rather than a literal 72-hour period. 
So when Jesus says he will be in the grave for three days and three nights, within his culture, that would just be an idiomatic expression to denote rising on the third day. It doesn't have to mean he will be dead for a literal 72 hours, like it would within our culture. So as long as we don't misread scripture through western eyes, and divorce the passage in question from the culture it was written in, this supposed contradiction can be resolved.